So, in this little episode of David Watson Extra, I want to talk about closure. And closure doesn't come from somebody else. We like to think it does. We have this idea in our heads that we need to understand what happened. And you do, by the way. You really do need to understand what happened. That's how you protect yourself from it happening before. It's how you put in boundaries to stop it happening again. But that closure you're seeking can't come from the other person. No matter how much you want it to. They are not able to give you an answer that you understand. Doesn't matter how many questions you have for them. And even if it was really possible, no matter how honest they were, and if they were able to talk from your perspective, to really understand how their actions affected you. If they were able to approach being honest with you from that point of view, you still wouldn't get any answers. Not that made sense, because it, you, you just don't understand what happened. And anything they will say, it will always be, but why didn't you talk to me about this? Why didn't you tell me? I could have done this, I, couldn't, I could have done that. And the bottom line, once the attraction is gone, it's gone. Once it's happened, you can't reverse the clock. And all of the questions, because they can't answer them from your point of view, it just leads to another question. Every answer has another question. That closure that you're looking for, how you find closure, real closure, is looking inwards. It starts from within, and you have to internalise what you were going through. Why was their validation so important? How did you become so lost in the relationship that you no longer know who you are? What can you do to be happy with the person moving forward, to be happy with the person that you become? Because that's the secret, the real secret is doing something for you, moving forward for you. One of the things that's hardest for people to do is we want to f create the future by fixing the past and you can't go backwards and fix anything. You can only lay the new tracks, the new pathways moving forward. Everything that you want from the past, every answer that you want from that person from the past is actually ahead of you. It's in front of you. There is nothing, nothing whatsoever that can change what happened. But you can decide the person you want to become and become that person. Start deciding what that person would do, what that person's daily habits are, weekly habits. What is that person's goals? What does that how does that person identify with the world? How does that person want to be perceived? How does that person want to be seen? And I don't mean for approval. How does that person want to look in the mirror? And what do they want to see coming back? How are they comfortable with themselves? When you discover who that person is, you'll, you will find closure. Closure is from within. It's when you understand that that person wasn't who you thought they were. It's what you relied on them to be to you. They gave you something. They gave you meaning. They gave you purpose. Because it wasn't already in you. And that meaning or that purpose, that space, the void that they filled was something that you already lacked. And that's why it can seem like such a hole, and it's a painful hole. But that's why. And the only way you're ever going to fill that void is from within. It's figuring out who you are. And with that comes the closure. Because once you discover what is missing, you can bridge 
the gap, fill the hole, become whole. And you'll also see red flags in yourself moving forward. It becomes that, oh, I did that because of X, Y, and Z. They meant this to me because of X, Y, and Z. But the truth is, they were never the person you thought they were. And ultimately, that closure is going to be, they were never the person you thought they were. Take care.